great enjoying it um it's been very refreshing i have to say we're only a, a week and a half or so back into it but um it's been excellent in terms of working with the staff there's good alignment there um and just the players and their their hunger and their i suppose their want to get better has been uh has been clear to see so it's been it's been really uh really positive i think so far through my experience of, of, of playing in France, and I did a year in England as well, in, in Gloucester. I, it was something that at a young age, I just wanted to get into coaching, and um, and having those experiences, I think, was something that I suppose stood to me, because I got to see how, how it was done in, in, in different clubs, in different environments, in different countries. And I came back, and as I said, I did a year as a player here at Munster, my final year, and then I became the director of rugby with Young Munsters for four years. I did a small bit with the Munster A's here, so it allowed me, I suppose, um, open the door a small bit and get me back in. There was Ian Costello, who, who, who's with us, obviously, with the academy. Um, he was the A coach, and he provided that opportunity for me. Um, and then from there, I, um, I went searching, and I went looking for opportunities, and fortunately, one came up in, um, in Grenoble through Bernard Jackman, who was over there. Um, and I kind of materialised from that, went on to Went on from Grenoble, which I spent four years, to INX, to Stade Francais, and, and finished in wrestling. So it, um, it's been a huge experience, all different environments, working with so many different coaches. And, and, and I think the biggest thing for me, the biggest experience out of, out of the nine years, especially coaching, I think, in France, was uh, just the amount of different nation, nationalities in terms of players. And just you learn a lot from that as well, you know. So you'd have, in most clubs in France, you'd have 10, 12 different nationalities. They have all different ways of viewing the game, different philosophies. And, and for me, I suppose, I'd be a type of an open coach that was willing to, to listen and, I suppose, pick the best parts of, of what I felt would be the best, uh, which would suit us the best. Um, so, yeah, a huge experience. One we loved as, as one I loved as a, as a coach, but as a family also. Uh, I won't lie, it's something that I always had in the, in the back of my mind. It was just, I suppose, when the opportunity came up. Um, unfortunately, it did when, when um, I suppose, Graham contacted me and we, we started to, to chat and, and see what direction we would go in and come back to a club like this who, who I suppose, I'm a local boy. I, I know what the club is about. I played with it. Um, I suppose that you look at the, the infrastructure that's here. This, this um, HPC wasn't here at the time, so this is an incredible facility to, to have. And obviously you have your, your, your world-renowned Tom and Park, which I look forward to as a, as a coach on the Munster side, because I've been here once or twice and on the other side as well, with wrestling as a coach. And um, I look forward to that. And obviously we play some games then down in Musgrave Park and obviously the, the world-class support that goes with this club. So uh, there's a lot to be excited for, absolutely. huge amount to be excited about and, and really looking forward to and, and especially working with the, the group as I said we're a week and a half in but you can see with um, with the players how, how much they're, they're they want to learn they want to move forward and um, and, and that's the plan for, for us to, to I suppose help those players and, and help them on a daily basis and a weekly basis and get our performances to where we, where we want to be.